Okay, hi, I've chained 25 to start the cowl out. And I just wanna show you how to work this simple daisy stitch, sometimes known as star stitch, but a simple star stitch. Um, and um, yeah, so let's go. So all you do is you're gonna insert your hook into the second chain from the uh, hook and pull up a loop into the third chain from the hook and then skip one and go into the fifth chain from the hook. I'm just pulling up a loop and then I'm yarning over and pulling through all four loops. Now here's where, that's how you're gonna start the round. So now to continue and repeat all the way across your chain, you're gonna chain one and that little hole that you just created is gonna be where your first spot where you're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. Then you're gonna to go to where you, that fifth chain was, the last place you, you uh, pulled up a loop, and insert your hook and pull up a loop there. Then you're still gonna skip one and go over to this one. Okay, you're gonna do that all the way across the chain. So here we go, I'll just keep showing you. Yarn over, insert your hook into that little hole, and then into the hole of the last spot you worked, skip two, and go over here. Pull up a loop. Okay, you wanna see that again? Here we go, chain one. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. Go right down to that last spot you inserted your, you uh, pulled up a loop, skip one, insert and go. So I'm just gonna continue to work my way across this chain and get these stitches in. I found that 25 chains across was just kind of the perfect amount for my little cowl that I made. Right now I'm using Bernat Roving Yarn, which is super soft with just a little bit of wool in it, so it could keep you warm, um, but yet not itchy on your neck. And I am using a size N hook, I believe. Yes, and 10.00 millimeters, if your hooks come that way. Okay. Pulling through, hope you're watching me do this, and you're understanding it yourself. Just a little bit tricky on how to turn, but not really. Same kind of pattern, almost there. Um, and if 25 chains you feel like is too tall for you, go for 23. All you need is an uneven number of chains to start this stitch. So if you were wanting to use this stitch for a blanket or something, you could, you could totally um, customize the pattern for yourself. Here we go, I'm at the very end. My last stitch is in that very last chain and I'm gonna pull up a loop and pull through. Now, what I'm gonna do is still chain to close up that loop and then I'm gonna chain two more times and then simply turn and now these First two chains are gonna be my first two that I work into. Pull up a loop, pull up a loop. Now I'm going to skip one and I'm gonna find that hole right there and that'll be my last place. Now I've just created the very first stitch. Chain one and here we go again. So this time if it's a little bit confusing, here's that space right here. Sometimes it can be a little confusing to find that hole, but you're still just skipping over a stitch and going into the next stitch. Right there. And this is gonna help you form those little, those little daisies or stars, whatever you think they look like. I think I might experiment a little bit with color changes to see if I could really get them to look more like flowers. Okay, so I think I've given you a good enough idea of how to get this um, scarf started, this little neck warmer, or turn it into a scarf. I bet you you could use two um, skeins.
gains of burnout roving if you wanted to turn it into a scarf, maybe even three, I don't know. One was just enough to do that neck warmer. So anyway, okay, good luck. Thanks for stopping by.